Alrighty, it's Mario Masters 1. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, part 29. And yeah, now we're gonna open this door. And what we have to do is unfreeze the thing. So we have to pull out of our pull out of our arrow. Pull out our arrow and time it. Ow. Yeah. Ow. 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 Um... How do I get back up? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. <sighs> aren't there moths around the- Oh, come on! Why aren't there moths around the fire? There's supposed to be moths around moths moth moths around the fire. What is this? Not Majora's mask? Oh. There we go. That was a lucky shot. Even though that that didn't even that, that never mind. I I'm not gonna complain. It didn't even hit it though. Crap. Okay. As you can see, we're pretty much like complete, completely complete with this completed dungeon. Is the trick? Oh wait, what's in here? Oh god. Listen, Link, watch out! The ceiling is falling down. No, it's not the ceiling, Navi. Oh yeah, I remember. Huh. Ouch, okay. You thought I could not survive. Just wait for that to go up. It's a sneaky way to stay alive. I have to hit him. Great. Yeah, this is the puzzle one. Uh, this one isn't really too hard. I mean, they give you a minute. I have to do is just make it fit. Crap. Okay. It's really simple. Oh wait. Oh, crap. <laughs> Watch me jink my jink jinx myself. Oh god, I'm pretty screwed. Oh. Oh god, I pushed it too far. No. Crap. Go, go, go. That was amazing. Oh, come on. So yeah, this is the third, uh, Poe. My guide says they're sisters. So I guess you could call them the Poe sisters. Okay, you're dead. <sighs> my arrows and my door are unlocked. Cool. We just open this door. We're up here. And there's the f <laughs> fourth pone. What's she doing? Is she like crying or something? She's crying. She's mourning their deaths. Their deaths. 
That's what she's doing. She's mourning the, the deaths of her sisters. Okay, so you have to choose wisely. You have to use your arrows. Because... Well, well, because... Okay, it's this one. Whichever one spins, um... Is the real one. You can't use your... Big ass sword because... Um... She just, like, moves. As you saw. Like that. And if you fail to guess right, she just flips out and wants to kill you. Yeah, that was not hard. Like, really? I think... I think not. <laughs> oh, I'm on top of the world! Where are my arrows? Look, Link, a torch is lit. That's because you beat a ghost, isn't it? Yeah. It wasn't invisible. It'd be better if it was invisible. It's invisible is awesome! And because he's invisible. So this part of the dungeon is pretty annoying. Um. I find it annoying. Because you have to push and pull and... Oh, it's... It's, it's much too much for me. Okay, now we can get our chest. And we got a bundle of arrows. Whoop-dee. Freaking do. Oh yeah, and you want to check like every time if there are any openings because oh, I just went there because there are switches that open door that open gates that open that open gates and then inside those gates like, there's another switch and that opens more gates and oh it's so fun it's not really challenging or anything but I find it tedious. So here's the first one. Go. There! Okay, so that one's behind a red carpet. So it could be anywhere. I'm guessing it's this one because... Huh, I have... I can see through walls. What? That's the other one, I guess. Oh, hey. It opened. Now it's behind the blue. So if I... If I could make a guess... It'd be one of the blue ones. Probably be the smaller blue one. Because the bigger blue one goes to the boss. Oh, that one. Smaller. Oh, bigger goes not to the boss. Never mind. That opens the one that goes to the boss, and we can go to the boss. Whoopee. Or, hooray. This is the boss door. You need the boss key to open it, and that's that's the new item that I was talking about. And let's... What? Oh. Uh-oh. Can't escape now. Uh, the horse! No! It's Ganon! Oh dear. Oh no. Or... Not... 
flying evils. Okay, horses. Pegasus, it's Pegasus! So pretty much what you want to do for this is you want to look at all... Yeah, this is pretty simple. Ow! I failed, whoops. So look and see which... Which, which one can be... Okay, there we go. Just, you, you just... You, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta find him, pretty much. You got a 50-50 shot. There. See, so yeah, I'm doing good at this. He failed once. Just rotate your control stick around and... Oh, crap. Ah. Whoops. Also, you can tell, uh, which, which Phantom Ganon is the real Phantom Ganon, because, uh, Phantom Ganon, the real Phantom Ganon and horse are lighter than the fake Phantom Ganon. Wow, that's funny, because he's a Phantom of Ganon, and there's a, even a fake Phantom Ganon. Okay. Come on, I can't, can't do my crouch stab. Ow. Come on. Come at me, bro. Ow, I forgot he did that. <laughs> Whatever, I got fairies. Come on. Come on. Just mash B. There, you're dead. Crouch stab for the win. Yeah. Hey kid, you did quite well. Looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. Well, thanks. But you have only defeated my Phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Oh, really? What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. That's not very nice. I wouldn't do that. <sighs> I wouldn't like to be banished between the gap between dimensions. That was surprising how I didn't die. Or have to use my fairy or anything. Surprised that it only took three parts. Jeez, now we're gonna have to go through some cutscenes, and then, yeah. Oh, we're back here. At least the old man isn't there staring us down. Oh, Saria. Thank you, because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I am Sakaria, the sage of the forest temple. I always believed that you would come, because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Okay, it's because it was destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. God, Saria, shut up, you're so creepy. I don't want to be your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever I am, whatever sex I am. Anyways, we're getting a second medallion. Somehow there's sun, the sacred realm, or chamber of sages, or whatever. Duh, duh. Sort of looks like a swastika, not really, but uh, oh my god, it sort of does. <laughs> you got the swastika medallion. Oh my gosh, does that mean Sarah is a Nazi? Hmm. Hitler will always be your friend. <laughs> oh, hey there, Deco Tree. How you doing? Not living. Oh, look at that. It's a little, little bud. 
What's this? Hmm. Oh, he's so happy. Hi there, I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Cause you and Saria broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. Hey, wait, Saria didn't do anything. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's because the Kokiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. So they're elves. I'm not a Kokiri, I'm a Hylian. Ho! Oh. How did you. Are you like. the incarnate of the Deku Tree or something? It seems like that. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country. Oh, this is. I think this is the war uh, that's depicted in the beginning as Skyward Sword, actually. Um. Yeah, because this is the. Because Skyward Sword's the prequel to this game. You could sense that it was child destiny. Okay. I was raised as a core carry, but I'm not. I want my Hylian clothes. You are a Hylian, and we're always bound to leave this forest. And now, you have learned your own destiny, so you know what you must do. That's right, you must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Link, break the curses on all the temples, and return peace to Hyrule. Shut up! You're gonna die like your father. I'm a murderer, I'm a tree killer. Is this faster? I wonder. I forgot. Anyways, I think I am done. Um. Oh yeah, now there aren't any monsters here. Bunch of money up there. Hey, let's get the infinite sword glitch. No. Aha. I'm going to kill you all, Kokiris. Feast the power of my sword. Feast the power... Or feel the power of my legs. Ah, ha ha ha. Die. I will kill you all. Leg power! <laughs> Actually, we have to go to the Temple of Time now. Oh, hey there, horse. Actually, wait. I know a quicker way to get there. And we save. It doesn't allow me to... Wait, I, I know what to do. Okay, we just reset it. Oops. Maybe it's not, but I don't know. Anyways, this just allows you to spawn in the Temple of Time instead of having to uh, take your horse there. I actually do a lot now that we have the uh, bow. Uh. I don't know what that two means. It's driving me nuts not knowing what it means, but whatever.
Uh, well, let's, let's go and talk to Sheik. You destroyed the wicked creatures that haunted the temple and awakened the sage. But there are still other sages you need. When you awaken all the other sages, you must become even more powerful. Oh dear. Let's travel over mountains, underwater, and even through time. If you want to return to your original time, or return the Master Sword to the pedestal of time, by doing this, you will travel back in time seven years. Time will come when you will have to return here quickly. I will teach you a song for you, blah, blah, blah. song to return you to the Temple of Time. The Prelude of Light. This is a good song. Da -da -da -da. You have learned the period of light. As long as you hold the current of time, Master Sword, you hold time itself in your hands. Link, we shall meet again. Uh, whoa, that was like super Deku knot. <laughs> okay, so now of the Prelude of Light. Uh, we have three warping songs. I forgot we had the Sunroot of Water. Anyways, uh, I'm going to stop video here. One, because it's 22 minutes, and two, because it's 22 minutes. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next part when we do something. See you then. Bye.